A lot of conversation has been going on about the blog era. Yes. And you obviously. That Santos Party House Records. Yeah, like you are obviously. Takes me to a time. Nigga. Oh, like, that's the time that, you know what I mean? Time, man. This is a capsule like, right You here. are a part of that, that, up, that upbringing. You are a part of that, you know, regime. Um, what do you remember most special about the blog era like the websites the the leaks the just all that that i mean that all that time. and it was new it was new for everybody right yeah so we all was learning and, and like networking and you know that got me seen by a lot of my favorite people because we all was on the same blogs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you know it was a time where south by southwest was Man. The thing to be at, right? right. Yeah. And that was like the blog era all star game. Mm. Before it got like Bef- super duper corporate. Super corporate. corporate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it? Was it Ill Roots? Ill Roots. Ill Roots. The Ill Roots. Roots. Yeah, Roots. 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 House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, so Fatal Ford. You yeah, Fatal Ford so took over. So yeah. But I remember being out there and I met Bun. Mm-hmm. And I went to go introduce myself and he was like, know who you are I pulled out his ipod at the time wow and had all of my shit on there wow and i was like i'm always checking for you every time you know you on the blogs i see your shit so that let me know that everybody is on the same blogs everybody's looking for their shit on those blogs mm-hmm. not right two dope boys on smash mm-hmm. you know low-key you heard that <laughs> new. <laughs> you heard that, you heard that new. You I mean, know, so. What was really fun about the blog era for me, because it was like, I guess, I don't know, I guess because, you know, streaming's kind of coming and like taking over, like, the, taking yeah, over so yeah. much. It felt like that was like the last era of like true gatekeeping. Like exactly. you couldn't, nah, I mean, just pop up out of nowhere or just like be quote unquote uh, a, a industry plant or mm-hmm. something like if you had enough of a following even if you weren't signed even if you weren't like you know doing like super numbers when you dropped like an album if you had that blog following mm-hmm. if you had those like you know s- that those you know if you're on two dope boys if you're on like if you was websites, on not right you was the man you was on not right you was it you was it because SK wasn't just posting anybody at, at one right, point at all. so right. it had to be special absolutely to get on there. so what I want to know is like you know that there was there's there was like this camaraderie that was built between like guys like yourself currency Wiz, Wiz yeah. like you know Falar and like all these guys that you know. Folks on the Santos Party House record, man. Right. Like that built like lifelong, you know what I mean, relationships, right? Mm-hmm. So like how's that how's that been seeing everybody kind of grow and come into their own in like the last like what is it, ten years now? At least. Years, yeah, at least. least. I mean, going at yeah, it? it's definitely ten. Um mm-hmm. you know, it's it's overwhelming mm-hmm. to see where everybody started and where everybody went. Mm-hmm. And that everybody sticks together. Like we we got like this unspoken buddy system word word. right where we always pull each other up and then do like these super records or go to mania together or you know we always we we found a bond within that era because it's a lot of people that's not with us right right true so just to have all of us in that pack because you know this shit is territorial at the end of the Mm -hmm. day Mm -hmm. and and we all was in that sandbox kind of trying to find space Mm -hmm. so now that everybody found space we all kind of like sitting together looking back like, yo, who are these niggas? <laughs> 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 so, so, you know, it, it, it's cool. And then, you know, I love working with the new guys. Yeah. Like, I'm probably the suck out of all, all the homies. <laughs> because I would I want to say all that. I mean, well, like. And, you in just, the most respectful way. Yeah. Because, you know, like, I was a new guy once. And, I, and I, I wanted to be embraced by the people that was already here. Right. So when I see certain things, I gravitate towards them. And. A lot of my friends follow after it because mm-hmm. it's like, all right, well, smoke fuck with him. He yeah, must, he yeah. must be cool. And I, and honestly, I know that's how I a lot of artists I got put on to also. Like I remember I, I used to listen to Hello Wiz, and then I heard you on some records. I'm like, oh, this, I, I ain't from out here too. I'm like, oh shit, okay. And then like you know, I feel like that's how a lot of people got put on to so many artists. And that like unspoken buddy system that you you spoke about, like it's still pretty strong to this day. Like For sure. that's why I saw a couple of those records come out. I'm like, oh hell yeah! Like this shit, this shit takes me to a time where mm-hmm. you, you know, know what I mean. Like every other day, you'd hear you see these posse cuts or if somebody's dropping an album. You know, it's gonna be like you and like Nesby and like, yeah. you know, like exactly. currency and all exactly. these guys. Like it always was that type of energy. The dojo alumni. You had you know mm-hmm. back in the, you know back in the day, you had those you know weekly records, right? And now you. 
you know, I used to, we, we all used to post your shit. Right. And nowadays, you know, the records come out on Thursday night, Friday morning, whatever the case is. Do you think it's a healthier output when it's just a Friday release or as opposed to a weekly joint or even the vlogs that aren't even popping up right now? Right. There's the, the content is not as digestible as it used to be. So someone who's come from that era and who has taken advantage of that era as opposed to the new kids would do what they do now. Where do you think the discrepancy is in regards to, you know, accepting the content? Um, it's really from who is given the content. Yeah. That's one. And then like I could really only speak for me on this. Like I don't like to overwhelm my fans with shit like I missed the era where I could just drop on a Tuesday and then come back on a Thursday and yeah. just mm -hmm. where it really wasn't no structure right but mm -hmm. now that we monetizing and like you know we in a different space of in our careers where it's like alright I don't want to compete with my own shit right like, we didn't really understand streaming 10 years ago right right and, and you know a lot of us <clears throat> that did business with indie labels it was kind of like hidden from us to understand it Okay. Right, because you know, if you do certain, if you're in certain situations, then you may not even see that streaming money the way you're supposed to. Right. Okay. So now, um, smoke Dizza after ten years in this shit, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna rap on this sample because Otis Redding's state is probably gonna sue me. Facts. Yeah. Right. And, right. So clear. and even getting that shit cleared, it's not yeah. the juice it's, ain't even it's, worth the yeah, squeeze. It's not worth you it. feel me? So I'm yeah. like, okay, I can't do that. I just don't want to compete with myself and replace um a song that I'm promoting with some other song that I feel is good and then mm. it's like people forget about it, it's falling through the cracks. So you know it's it's tasteful ways to do it. Now why it's not really being accepted right now or digested the way it used to be is because the blog era is kind of over gone. with. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's gone. gone. With right. Instagram and, and, you know, people could just go check for you and wherever they want to check for you yeah. at. Now they don't have to go through all the new shit or the random shit to get to what they want to see. But They're in a weird way, it, it's it's kind of good also because, like, now you could kind of build, like, your own sort of, like, fan ecosystem, right? Like, if you do it right, you can, you know, get... You don't necessarily need, you know, granted, like, it's dope to be on Not Right. It's dope right. to be on, like, Two Dope Boys, all that other stuff. Like, But now, like, you're the Not Right of right. your own shit. But see, this is all right, so this is my point, and uh -huh. I wanted to, like, follow up with that. But because you guys have your own ecosystem, because you guys have your own bubble, it's like you guys can have lyrical exercise. You guys can, you know, work out and do freestyles and do, you know, videos, whatever the case is. And it leads right to you guys. Mm -hmm. Like now it's not, you know, you don't have to go to You Heard That New. You don't have yeah. to go to Two Dope Boys. You don't have to go to Not Right. I can go straight to Diz's page or I can mm -hmm. go to his YouTube or his Instagram. And it's literally right there. So that's why I'm kind of just like just me being one of the gatekeepers back 10 years ago. Yeah. I'm like, yo, y'all have the cheat code now where it's like, all right, every Monday, Smoke Diz a Mondays. Boom, freestyle from my living room, doing whatever the case is. But I don't see that from the guys that are, you know, capable of doing that. Yeah. I'll so, tell you, I mean, I'll yeah, tell to you your point about the sample clearances, I get that. But it's like, y'all do have a, to me, I feel like y'all do have a little bit more freedom to, to put out and to lay out, you know, the landscape the way you want it. It's more freedom. But at the end of the day, like, once you have that base, how do you gain new followers? Right. Right. right, right. So, like those blogs was getting us new attraction. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So that's where it goes, like, that's where, it, like, veers. Yeah. Um, The fact that, you know, going back to my story, like, a Bum B could notice me on Now right. 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 That might not happen on the gram. There's right, so no, many right. people, so many gotcha. pages you come across where you just, like, even if you want to Like, if your algorithm ain't it, even really yeah, right, yeah, some yeah, shit, no, no, it, it'll slip you. right through the yeah. cracks. So you. it's yeah, like, you know, you. we got direct-to-consumer, but I still miss... The blog era, and it still lives through Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter is very important. Yeah, you know, yeah. As far as networking, like it's still, still very live. You know, it still gives you that sort of live forum. You know, blog sort of feel when like when something's popping, like that's your instant. People are gonna grab test to that. So yeah. you can still kind of like go there and, and figure out if your shit is hitting or not. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about you know uh, certain artists like building their own ecosystem and like independently. Yeah. And like I, I'll always give like credit to like guys like Mac Miller, like yeah. way back when, he was one of the first people that were like 
super duper going hard for being independent, yeah. like building his own sort of like structure. And, you know, I know you said a lot of stuff wasn't, you know, a lot of the streaming numbers and all that stuff was like hidden from a lot of us. But like he was one of the guy, the first guys that like I heard of just you know, selling like five hundred thousand, like going gold, like independently, like all this other shit. And nah, like, he got it. Ro- yeah. Rostrum was doing really well at that time with mm-hmm. with Mac and Wiz. Yeah, you yep. know what I mean, like especially during the blog era. Ken and Ryu was during the blog era. They was yeah. going crazy. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So we here. I mean, obviously we here for a specific reason because this Friday, you know, you got a nice body of work coming out. So mm-hmm. let's, let's talk about give them the title. You know what I mean, <laughs> um, the name of the album is Homegrown. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really like. Just based on being organic, hometown shit. Mm. Um, good it's trees. It's really an old. T- <laughs> good, good, good trees, but you good know that that love. comes that that's, that comes with the territory. Yeah, yeah, with yeah, the we territory. know, we but know, guys. You know to to tie it back into the what best we was just talking life, about. The best joints of my life I've ever smoked by the way. I, I don't. I don't. I know, like we hate na- name dropping with like, nah, we, like a, we're name we dropping ass podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to, we want to, we want to, we love them. Motherfuckers get it. They want to hear those stories. They want to hear those stories. So I'm like, I never really talk about like who I've ever done drugs with with rappers. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but but. <laughs> <laughs> the best joy, the best weed I've ever smoked with any rapper or anybody in particular. You one A and one B, you and Wiz, bro. Um, like there were times like I remember, like I'd be like out in L.A. just with this and like just for days on end. Right. You know what I mean? Like every like while they're going in the studio working out, like I'm writing, working on stuff. Yeah. Like we would have like these little like workshop Pow-wow. sessions. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like powwows, like me, him, Falar, and DJ Money. Mm-hmm. Like uh, you know, Flex Cartel. Like yeah. all all of us, and yeah. then like. We go to like Monday Night Raw later. Like, high as fuck. The whole high, high as shit. You know what I mean? But <laughs> Dizzle would always have like the most pristine, like just he turns into fucking like Dexter's laboratory when it comes to like <laughs> the way he ro- like it's so precise. Like I've never seen somebody just so just like you know, like with Wiz, Wiz was different. Like Wiz was just like you know, you'd smoke with him like a backstage and like all types of wild shit going on. Right, and like, right, right. They got dabs coming here and the, there. The and wax is shit. there, like the oh, yeah, all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. But Dizzle was such like he was like a student of the game, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like my nigga, like was, I'm a chemist. Like I'm gonna make sure it's the bruh, right amount, bro. He would he would break it down to a scientific level right. with his joints, and I would just have the best. These were these were some of the most fun times of my life, bro. bro and all of these music, days, bro. all of these experiences, like I, I remember smoking with Wiz and just I remember being in parties with this nigga, like yeah. just drinking and chilling and like just having, a, <laughs> wow. but not not knowing like we didn't know what it was. It was like, oh, like yeah, yeah you cool, like yeah, mm-hmm. I run the blog and like, oh yeah, nigga, yeah. post my shit. All right, cool, like let's mm-hmm. let's pull. And that's up. another thing, mm-hmm. and that's, that's all it was. was that camaraderie that's, between the bloggers that's, too. Yo, that's all because it's like you know, fuck the middleman. Like it's like sometimes I'll be thinking about this shit. It's like man, like what if. Like a lot of bloggers, I mean, some bloggers kind of like smartened up to yeah, it, but yeah, like, course, course. you know, there was a point where like the, re- the the labels didn't know what the fuck they were doing. You know what I'm saying? But and we like, had our un- like there. I think the, a lot of bloggers had an unspoken language yes. between a lot of artists, a lot of new artists, yes. because the new artists were like, "Yo, fuck this whole mechanical right, corporate shit." Right. It's like, all right, my nigga, like I can send you this. And you could post it, mm-hmm. figure out the label shit later. Mm-hmm. I think it was a lot of artists. I think Big Sean was a part of that era. Wale was a part of that era. You know, Smoke was a part of that era. Shit, Currency, the, like shit, Kendrick, nigga, Drake. Kendrick, like, like a lot of nigga, <laughs> big exactly, yeah, yeah, like Cole, like ASAP. a lot of people was just like, yo, ASAP. here, just take mm-hmm. this shit. Mm-hmm. We'll figure out the details later. And that's how a lot of these people, a lot of these artists, got their notoriety. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, I can get my shit from these niggas. Yeah, and I don't have to mm-hmm. wait till yeah. the radio takes it. And that's what wait. it was. And then I gave you the extra joint where which, I, which like, is why I always have a hard time dealing with <laughs> <laughs> very hard time dealing with well, that's for another episode that's for another day but, but nah we're here talking about my man's <laughs> album so homegrown yeah you know homegrown. I mean? so like, who's featured on the album um shit i got the diplomats shit um big crit Wiz khalifa currency jack harlow Speaking boy, my that, uh, harlow harlow is nice I'm dom sorry. kennedy eric bellinger Shout out to Dom, that Burn rap and roll up. project is, is is fire too. Yeah. Um Jada Kiss flipped the narrow. Jeez. 
What's the production? Kind of that's a, that's, a, that's yeah. a stack. What's, what's, the, what's oh, the production? First of all, that's lineup. a stacked ass lineup of like you just you just reeled but off they, like man. Like, he, like, did, like, he did it so he, he was like yo I got uh, you know I got Jada I got uh, Dom I got I Dipset mean, I got like, Jack God Harlow damn. I'm like nigga if you don't look at the camera and tell these oh, niggas who the fuck you got on this project I know you stream this shit I got this nigga come on man look at these niggas if they don't know how I'm coming if they don't know how I'm coming I don't know what they even here for. You know what I mean? Okay, you know okay. I'm coming. <laughs> but um <laughs> <laughs>Pom, people. My name is Kaz. This is Loki right here. And if you enjoy watching that from the Say Less with Kaz and Loki podcast, you can check out more videos right here or here or here or wherever mm -hmm. Edin puts these screens at. But enjoy it. Subscribe to youtube.com slash Kazim and enjoy. And come back for more. Please. We're please. right here. Please do.